There are two types of jawless fishes, and I can't even decide which one is creepier, the lampreys or the hackfish. The short version is that lampreys are fish without a jaw, but with a circular mouth and circles and circles of teeth that they use to attach to prey and then suck blood and bodily fluids, which probably loses them some sympathy point with most people. And hackfish are eel-like fish with a shit ton of slime. Like whatever your slimiest experience is, it's probably nothing in comparison to these slimy fuckers. So let's dive in and see why these creeps are actually pretty fucking cool. Remember how we kinda defined fish as aquatic vertebrates with gills and fins last time? Well, with a joint column of exception to the rule, this is one of the exceptions. The lampreys lack fins. In general, they are one of the most primitive vertebrates out there. Actually, they don't even have a spine because evolution snatched that away from them. But they definitely don't lack his teeth. I mean, those circles of teeth are just weird. There are about 40 or so extant species, so living species of lampreys. They all have different life cycles and how they breed and behaviors and all that. So we're gonna use the sea lamprey as an example, but keep in mind, this does not apply to all lampreys, at least not all of it. And the sea lamprey has actually managed the seemingly impossible feat of being both endangered and invasive. The life cycle of the sea lamprey actually sounds pretty exhausting. They spawn in fresh water, but they live in the sea. When they spawn, they go down the river and into this larval stage that takes a couple of years of them just being burrowed in the sediment and hanging out there. Then when they grow their circular sucker mouth clay thing and their eyes, they start swimming toward the sea where they hang out another few years and then start swimming back up into their spawning grounds to spawn. And as with so many species that migrate from the sea to fresh waters, this is also where most of the issues start. Sea lampreys are originally from the Atlantic. They span the coast on both sides of the Atlantic. They are all the way up in Labrador down to Florida and Norway down to the Adriatic Sea. And fish there are ready for them. They don't get chewed up to pieces every time a lamprey feeds on them, because evolutionary arms races have made them equipped to deal with the lampreys, ecosystem and balance and all that. A study from 2020 looked at the European range, where another invasive, the European catfish, is eating up a good chunk of the lamprey offspring before they ever reach the sea, let alone make it back to their spawning grounds to spawn. Granted, they are also endangered because humans keep building dams, fuck with their spawning grounds, pollute everything, overfish everything, well, and then there's climate change. I guess I better move on. The humans fuck with nature part is also why they are invasive in other parts of the world, like the Great Lakes in the US and Canada. And it took a lot of conservation effort to even make a dent into lamprey populations in the Great Lakes. And the fish there are so not ready for them and usually die if they get attacked by a lamprey. Not good for the fish in the Great Lakes and not good for the fisheries that rely on them. And even if you now think that it's good if the fisheries don't find fish, we're not at a point where fishers not finding fish makes them quit. We're at a point where fishers not finding fish makes them overfish elsewhere. Okay, that's a bit of a downer. Let's do a fun fact, completely unrelated. In German and in folklore, apparently, these things are called nine eyes because some people seem to think that their seven gill slits look like eyes and some people even think to think that their nostril looks like an eye. So nostril plus actual eye plus seven gill slits makes nine eyes. I don't know. Oh, right, they don't attack humans. They don't want to eat you, they really don't. They might attack you if you are unlucky and they mistake you for something else, but that's really, 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 really unlucky and even then you're way too big for that hole to be a big deal. Okay, next, slimy madness. First off, hackfishes don't have teeth. Hackfishes don't eat living things. Hackfishes live at the bottom of the ocean in the deep sea benthos. Those things should make it easier to digest them for many, many people. Hackfishes are scavengers, so they eat dead things that are already dead and can't swim away. They make the nutrients available for things with smaller mouth or smaller digestive tracts that eat smaller prey, so they are vastly important. 
they eat dead things, or at least that's norm. Apparently, if you bait them with fish, they will attack that as well and get a good meal. But again, it's a meal on a stick that can't swim away, still a far shot away from hunting anything. These things look essentially like worms or eels. Not very interesting, but what they can do is they can get out of tight spots by forming knots and pushing against themselves with all that slime. And there's a lot of slime. Just how much slime there is and how soluble in water it is depends on the species. But there are some that are fucking slimy indeed. And if you can't imagine what it looks like to eat without a jaw, here you go. You'll probably notice those tooth plates that make the whole no teeth statement feel kind of like a lie. They aren't teeth, I promise. Despite them being deep sea inhabitants, we actually managed to endanger some of the hackfishes. Some of the hackfishes are on the IUCN red list and in threatened despite their far from humans habitats. It's fucking sad and they are hugely important. Their feeding on dead things and taking apart rotting carcasses down in the deep sea makes them available for other species but also makes the area cleaner. They are the cleanup crew of the deep sea helping making the habitat livable for other species you might actually give a crap about. While you might not give a shit about the slimy eel things, you probably care about cod, haddock and flounder as they are popular on the dinner table and fucking cold animals. We'll get into those in the Climbing the Tree of Life series soon where we're talking about fishes at the moment. For now, let's just appreciate that while they might look horrible with their teeth or tooth plates or whatever and all that slime, they are super important. We need even the ugly fuckers and we need to start to give a shit.